everyone. This is Aaron Ho again, and today I will be presenting an anti-seizure drug, which is called phenobarbital. So what is phenobarbital? Phenobarbital also has a generic name, Lumino, belongs to a drug class called barbiturase. It is used to control seizure standard epilepticus induced drowsiness and for alcohol withdrawal treatment. On November 18, 2022, the FDA approved CZB, which is phenobarbital sodium powder for injection for the treatment of neonatal seizure. Currently, phenobarbital is available as three dosage form, tablet, solution, and injection. In general, there are many strains of the tablet, such as 50 mg, 30 mg, 64, 1.8 mg, and 100 mg. There is only one strain of the solution, which is 20 mg per 5 ml. And for injection, there are two strains. 65 mg per 1 ml and 130 mg per 1 ml. And here are some common dosing of phenobarbital for alcohol withdrawal syndrome. Initial dose is 130 mg IV or 260 mg once, per, followed by another. 130 mg IV every 15 to 30, min 30 minutes as needed until resolution of symptoms. For seizure, the dosing is 60 to 200 mg per day, or 50 to 100 mg twice to three times a day. For standard epilepticus, the dosing is 20 mg per, kilo 20 mg per kilogram IV. If necessary, we may repeat once after 10 minutes with an additional 5 to 10 mg per kilogram. And finally, for sedative hypnotic withdrawal, the initial dose is 200, 200 mg tablet, followed by 100 mg every 4 hours. For 5 doses, 60 mg every 4 hours for 4 doses, and then 60 mg every 8 hours for 3 doses. Here are some patient gasoline point of phenobarbital. You can take it with or without food. However, you should take it with food to avoid upset stomach. Likewise, avoid driving and doing other tasks that require alertness. In fact, phenobarbital may cause drowsiness. Also, tell your doctor if you have breastfeeding, you will need to talk about any risk to your baby. Moreover, some health problems may happen when this drug is injected too fast, including severe headache or dizziness, passing out or change in eyesight. Tell the doctor right away if you have any of these signs. And finally, a severe skin reaction called Stevens, Stephen Johnson syndrome may happen. If you have any if you have signs like red swollen appealing skin, Red or irritated eyes are sore in your mouth, throat, nose, or eyes. Get medical help right away. So how does phenobarbital work? Phenobarbital works by increasing the amount of time chloride channels are open, consequently depressing the central nervous system. This action occurs by acting on gap A receptor subunit. As a result, phenobarbital depresses the sensory cortex, discrete motor activity, change cerebral function, and, pro and produce drowsiness, sedation, and hypnosis. Phenobarbital 
Pop Metal can also cause a few major explosive reactions. For example, Peanut Pop Metal may cause cardiovascular explosive reactions, such as hypotension and bradycardia in old ages. This is more likely due to IV formulation and rapid IV administration. Likewise, Peanut Pop Metal may cause central nervous system explosive reactions, such as drowsiness, ataxia, vertigo, abnormality in thinking, and memory impairment in all ages. In fact, patients with dementia may experience cognitive exploration on rel relatively low dose more frequently than patients without dementia. Furthermore, phenobarbital is also associated with hypersensitivity reaction, ranging from mild with macular rust to severe cutaneous exploration as caused including Stephen Johnson syndrome and growth reaction with eosinophilia and system and systemic symptoms. And here are some common minor side effects of phenobarbital, including hypertension, change in appetite, sedative state, rust, nausea, or vomiting. And now, let's take a look at some monitoring parameters of phenopopital. When using phenopopital, the normal therapeutic range for a dose is around 10 to 40 micrograms per milliliter. If your blood level is too high or too low, you may need to adjust your dose to stay within range. Likewise, you also need to monitor heart rate, blood pressure, and oxygen saturation. You may also experience some dermatological reactions, such as itching, maculopapular rash, or severe rash. Furthermore, you may also need to watch for unusual change in behavior, such as anxiety, depression, or suicidal thoughts. Let's talk about a few warnings of phenopopital. If you are allergic to phenopopital, papituray, or any component of the formulation, don't take it. Last why, if you are, you are if you are having dyspnea, or you are a patient with a history of sedative or hypnotic substance use disorder, the use of phenobarbital is contraindicated. And here are some precautions of phenobarbital. In general, if you are if you are having hepatic impairment or you have a history of substance use disorder, use phenobarbital with caution. That's why for anemia patients, use phenobarbital with caution. Moreover, in older adult population, using phenobarbital may induce paradoxical stimulation, cause uh, increased depression and confusion. In fact, Due to its long half life and risk of dependence, phenobarbital is not recommended as a sedative or hypnotic in the elderly. And here are some major drug drug injections of phenobarbital. In general, phenobarbital may decrease the serum concentration of amlodipine and promocryptine. These are moderate risk. Therefore, we just need to mo monitor therapy. For dutazam, phenobarbital may decrease the serum concentration of dutazam. As a result, we should consider alternative to this combination when possible. If combined, monitor for decreased dutazam efficacy. This is a moderate risk. Therefore, we need to consider therapy modification. And finally, 
find the public child may decrease the serum concentration of glucuronide as well. This is a high risk. Therefore, we must avoid the combination between find the public child and glucuronide. And this concludes my presentation. And here are some of my references. Thank you for listening.